can you talk a little bit of, about your offensive production tonight and then also a little bit about your guys' defensive strategy on their big guys? Yeah, well, first, on the defensive end, you know, we knew they had really good bigs, and uh, we we wanted to guard them as a team, and I thought we did that tonight. The guards did a good job of coming down and doubling when they did get the ball. And uh, offensively, you know, we were just sharing the ball, and I was lucky enough to be the recipient of a lot of those passes. So we just, you know, attribute our team to that. We did a good job of sharing the ball. What, what the plan was just to, when they would get the ball inside, they would just pack it in force them to beat you from the perimeter. Is that, is that what the plan was? We understand that the ability of their bigs, the numbers that they've put up, uh, not only over the conference, but throughout the whole season. I mean, they've had some spectacular games, to say the least. So what what our goal was, was to you know crowd it up down there, like you were saying, but you know the guards can't dig unless the bigs force their bigs out. You know, And they were catching the ball a couple feet off the block several times, and that, that's what allowed us to have an effect. But it was <laughs> completely attributed to the way that Byron, Trev, uh, Kyle, and, and Darren played on those two. Does this game mean more to you guys? considering what happened last year? I mean, we're not looking at last year, but I mean, it did feel good, you know, and uh, it felt even better because they, you know, they put it on us with their place earlier this year, and that was kind of in the back of our minds, so it definitely felt good to, to get this one. It looked like, in a way, in the first half especially, when they had about 13 turnovers, they, they almost seemed a little rattled because it didn't matter even if they would block a shot, you guys would still attack, 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 and then, Defensively, you guys were kind of frantic as well as full court. Yeah, I, we played with great energy from the start of the game. You know, it took it took a while for the game to maybe have some flow, but that's what happens. You have a couple of teams that play like this, and I don't think either of us are afraid of of playing a style of basketball where you grind it out like that. And that tonight it favored us, but a lot of nights in this league it'll favor a team with bigs that are that are that skilled and those guards that are big and strong and can defend. But tonight. Like I said, we were flying around defensively and then offensively. You know, we moved the ball and, and we're able to sort of develop a rhythm, especially into the first half going into the second. Trevor, can you talk a little bit about the defensively against Kowali and also Selvig? Totally different from what the, you saw out there in Montana. Yeah, you know, like I said, we were just being, we just wanted to be really aggressive tonight and uh, we realized that they're, you know, two really good players and they both had good games against us up there. So, you know, we just look at it, looked at it as a challenge and, uh, you know, I thought we, you know, took them out of a lot of things. Like I said, our guards did a good job helping us out. And, uh, you know, we just played good against them tonight. It, it's, it, it would be easy, I would think, for a team or guys in your position to be intimidated by hype like that, but obviously you weren't. Is that something that you meant to focus on to make sure that you were just going to be as, as, like you say, aggressive? And, Positive as you can see. Yeah, we might not be the biggest team out every night, but we're never going to be scared of anybody. You know, I mean, I got blocked, I don't know, three times or something. And, uh, but, you know, you just got to keep going hard, and eventually, you know, your shots are going to start falling in. But, you know, I mean, we're not, you know, we're not going to back down anybody. It doesn't matter how big they are. Kyle, can you talk about your approach coming in against a team that's in the first place in the league for the third straight game and being able to knock them off again? Second time. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a tough schedule for us, you know. And like like you said, three three games in a row play against the first first place team. It's great for our team, you know. Everybody's written about, and we've all talked about, you know, losing Damien and having to overcome stuff like that. And one of those things is you gotta you gotta bring it every night. You gotta be ready to play against the best teams in the league on a nightly basis. And uh, you know, really proud of the way that our our young guys have played. In the last couple of games, you saw Jordan Richardson had a great game against uh, Northern Colorado, and then what Byron did tonight when Byron's on, I mean, you guys saw it. It was it was really fun to watch, and, and our bench production and especially production from our young guys has really helped us as veterans, you know, to come along and we're uh, we're making progress. We got a long way to go. We're making progress. So. I guess you're discipline, more disciplined on offense tonight instead of when it started to get a little ragged. You were you were able to pull it back, and after even making shots, you weren't forcing. Did you, I mean, is that just a, a well, we'll get more development as the year is going on? Yeah, we'll get yelled at if uh, <laughs> if we rush shots, take bad shots. If we get in a stretch, you know, where we're burping up two or three bad shots in a row, go for call timeout. It's something that's been emphasized in practice, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw at the beginning of the game, you know, we were rushing a lot. Of, we were just settling for jump shots and, mm -hmm. you know, just well, what he says, we keep the ball on one side of the floor and it's easy to guard when we do that. And so.
after such a big win, is there any concern about a letdown against Montana State Saturday? Mm -hmm. I'm sure our coaches are concerned about it. You know, any coach has to be. Yeah, uh, that's our, our responsibility as upperclassmen to make sure that we're ready to go. But I think we will be. Our team's come a long ways. We're going to be ready to go.